It is time for Beckett's from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video we are going to talk about the 220 in one mini arcade game cabinet. Yeah, it comes in a pretty neat box. It's a little bit bust up due of transport. 60-bit games. Oh, yeah, right, 220 games, 2.8 inch color screen maybe a little bit bigger than the last one suitable for kids above three years and old all right let's unpack it and let's see what we're going to get a really awesome piece of hardware it's quite heavy and like the other version it got a really nice sticker on it there are some difference this time yes it got homebrew 16-bit games that's the first difference it got a bigger screen the view angle is the same like the other one, so there's not yeah, better or worse, it's just the same. Um, yeah, the buttons is a little bit different. Uh, we got A, B, select, start and reset, but there is no volume button. The little arcade stick can be screwed off if you want, if you don't really like it. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you just want to play without, it's possible. The speaker is at the back here. And also the switch for powering on and off. And at the back we are finding compartment for three triple A batteries again. So there's no volume button. I was looking at this thing. I was thinking, what the hell? Oh yeah, whatever. Let's power it on and let's play some games. All right, let's take a close look at the games. This is because it's all about it's all about tennis. All right. It's mini games. Oh, so we got the games. It's a menu like the other one. Rolling box, dogs, pocket change, action, creepy girl, adventure. Don't you mean adventure? Pirate landing table. Right, boom man is on this one. Sport. Relax. But I want something to check out. What I found here. Something like pirates. Pirate landing. I think parts are cool. What is this? <laughs> Funny. All right, let's do it again. Huh. This is really a funny game. Pretty damn basic, but still funny. Epic fail, there is no way of resetting this thing. So, we need to use the switch at the back. So beside the point I can't find the volume button, there is no freaking way of resetting it. And here we got some more games. City Battle. Ah, we got rabbit fire. No. 
It looks very nice. Alright, let's reset it one more time. That freaking song is getting in your head. Mini Fighters, this is a game that I really wanted to show you all. It's really funny. That look like moves from Street Fighter? Alright, can I do in Shadow? Oh my G. Alright, can I jump, jump over it? Oh my god. I did. She did a Hadouken. Oh, indeed, you can play it. <laughs> uh, the only thing is, is it's really nice. It, uh, and when, why I'm saying really nice is because it got some really good animations. It looks pretty. I mean, only it's more like a going slow mo mode. Okay. It's really. No, I don't want it to do. I want to do a Hadouken. But the controls are pretty damn stiff. Wow. So for the final conclusion about the mini arcade games 221. It's a really funny cabinet. It looks really nice. Like the other ones. Um, yeah, it's a good build. Good quality. This one got 16-bit homebrew games inside. They are pretty fun to play. Not the best game sometimes I've seen, but yeah. What can we complain about for the money? Because these things are really cheap. And for the yeah, good screen, nice controls. So, pretty damn nice. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And see you in my next video. Bye bye.